morning, everyone. We'll give uh, folks another minute or two to uh, connect, and then we'll start the uh, start the webinar. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, webinar on the user interface changes on the HMIS. Thank you for uh, attending. Uh, my name is Mike Corcoran. I'm the Director of Information Services with All Chicago, and we're in charge of the uh, HMIS support and administration. A um, couple of housekeeping items. Um, since there's a large number of people, uh, all, the, uh, all your microphones are muted. If you have questions, please use the uh, question box um, to ask your question. We'll try to get to as many as we can um, during the webinar. Um, the topic today is that our, um, our HMIS is, uh, we, we uh, subscribe with the vendor WellSky um, for the HMIS application software. Um, WellSky has uh, decided to make some changes in that application um, in terms of how the user interface is implemented and structured. Um, they have their, uh, their reasons for doing that. Hopefully it will mean in the future that they're able to do more and better things with the, uh, with the user interface that will make it easier to use. But um, we'll see they have some plans to release some things in January. Um, for this implementation, for, for this uh, change, there aren't any functional changes. It's um, mostly a look and feel, a little bit of navigation. Um, and I will um, turn that part of it over to uh, Rochelle Fajardo, our uh, training coordinator, um, and she will walk through um, what those changes look like um, and some of the resources available to you. So I'll turn it over to Rochelle. Thanks, Mike. Hi, everybody. Um, again, this is Rochelle Pardo, um, training coordinator over at the HMIS team. And I'll be walking through over this um, article that we have sent out to the community um, last week and also just show you um, on our demo site what it's actually going to look and feel like in preparation for when our live site will switch over to this interface next week. Um, so this article that I have up right now is up in our help desk. Um, we'll send out the link later on again, um, so it is available for you. Um, on the same article will be the recording of this webinar um, posted later this afternoon. Um, at the same time, I'm also going to be just kind of going over this new tool that we've started using. You might have started noticing this on the help desk. Hopefully, we're going to start also migrating a lot of the information and training moving forward, uh, especially after the data standards change to this. So um, I'll just be walking through different features on it as well, just so we can get a little bit more familiar with it. <clears throat> so if you notice down here, we can also enlarge this, which I will be doing for us. Um, so it is full screen. So as Mike mentioned, um, Walska is making these updates for our Chicago COC. Um, changing the look and feel, completely rebranding from service point to community service. So that's another transition we'll be doing over the next few months is, um, is trying to uh, 
transfer over to using community service as our HMIS rather than service point. But for right now, some changes to expect will just be an updated color palette, some modernized fonts and icons, um, and then that rebrand of community service, just community service, which just really means the removal of the point part of the navigation and the names of the modules we've been using and the URL change that we had already started experiencing um, last week. So these next slides, it's just kind of a quick preview. Um, what I'm also gonna do, it, as I mentioned, is um, show you kind of what it really looks like on a demo site. So first main uh, change will be this new login screen so previously this is what our old login screen looks like and um, this is what the new login screen will look like next week so um, this is what it looks like on the real demo site now um, same functionalities it's just going to have the different colors it's going to match with all the rest of their our vendors products for that password right here and on our login Next main change will be our navigation bar. So previously, this is what, uh, I mean, currently this is what our navigation bar to the left has looked like. This is what it looks like expanded and then collapse, it just kind of disappears. So now it will be dark blue. Um, our last few and favorites are gonna be stacked on top of each other instead of next to each other. So you can see them both um, expanded at the same time. As we mentioned, the point part of the modules will be removed. So client point will become clients, call point will be calls, shelter point will be shelter, and scan point will just be scan. And then we'll have the arrows instead of being on the left side of the modules, it'll be over on the right. And then we'll have a collapsible tab of that navigation bar um that's just going to have those icons so you can still navigate between modules as it's collapsed so the way that's going to look on the real site is this a little bit so again similar functionality our last view and favorites can be opened at the same time We've got our client point is going to be clients. And then I'll go in a little bit more depth into what the client profile will look like in a later slide. Um, we got shelters, call point, um, scan point, and then our reports here. Again, we are gonna be able to collapse this and then, but still be able to navigate in between our modules. So the next thing we will look at is this header panel. So on the top right corner is usually where you would find your profile, um, account information, um, our ATAs is where they'll see who they're shadowing or enter data as information. Um, and we're just gonna be changing, uh, they just changed some of the icons and kind of the way it looks. This is how we'll be looking moving forward. Um, with those updated icons, again, still the same functionality. It's just going to look a little bit different. <laughs> so I'm going to now test that out on our own, on our demo site. So as of right now, I'm set up there. So I will be shadowing a different account that I have on here. That is what our shadow mode looks like. Our enter data as going to show up like that. Um, our de this demo site doesn't have business objects, but um, as I mentioned here, the business objects icon will look like a little graph now. An updated icon for, for us. The next thing will be this breadcrumb navigation. So previously it was pretty large on that green bar on the top left corner of our screen. Um, those are clickable breadcrumb navigation and um, take you to each of those sites. 
And that has just kind of been minimized um, just so it's not as distracting. Um, and I will show you what that looks like on the demo site. So right now, this is kind of what it looks like here. So if I go to a client point, this is what it looks like. Um, so if I'm in a client profile, it looks like this. So just a little bit more cleaned up, um, but you can still click through it as it functioned before. And then the next thing is again, our client point. Um, then the biggest change will be the change from client point to client, and then just some updated icons here. So previously, this is what our records looked like before. And now they will be looking like this. So clients, um, some updated new icons. Um, again, I'm going to show you with a real, um, well, a, a test client here. So here is a test client. Um, we've got a new icon here. Our visibility lock has been updated. And same functionality. Um, the icons will just look a little differently. I'll also be walking. So our ROI will look like this. Similar functionalities. Our entry exits will look like this. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of what our assessments will look like. So again, entry assessment, you see that those icons are still in the same places. They just look a little different. We can continue. Same functionalities, you can still change our provider up here and type just some new updated icons. This is our assessment navigation bar up here. Obviously, this is not normally what kind of our specific, our COC's assessments look like, but it will look similar to this. Got our sub assessments here. They're not quite as pronounced as before. Might be going a little fast, so I'm going to pause and see if you guys have any specific pages on these records that you'd like to see function. Um, please reach, send me a question in the question tab so I can like pause in specific places here. I'll pause for a little bit. Okay. So far, so then I'm going to keep slowly going through this um, monthly income. So we'll be still doing the HUD verification, and that this is what it will look like afterwards so for example if our client has earned income once you market guests it will still look how our uh, it'll still function All right notes and services i see we've got a request for that so i'll definitely move into that section afterwards so if we complete a hud verification here for example save everything else is no save and exit so this is a complete sub-assessment has been completed. You see, we have a question that asks, uh, will we have to create a new login? So everything will function exactly the same. Um, it's just the new look and feel, same password, same username. Um, so there is no next steps for anybody. It will just change over. This is kind of just to show you what to expect next week. Um, no data will be changed or will need to be changed? Great questions. So then 
the income. Um, and then I'll move over to the notes and services afterwards. So let me save and exit here. Get out of here for now. Um, so service transactions. So view entire service history. This is what it will look like. If I add a service, it will still look about the same. Same look and feel for this service here. And this is our entire service history here. That's how it will look like in the services. The next one that we had a request for is the notes. We've got our place plans, right? our goal. And looks very similar. Um, Upload attachment here. Um, again, the attachment's now a little paper clip as opposed to that binder clip we were looking at before. <clears throat> Any further questions or areas you'd like to see on just the client record? I see there is a question in the report section. So um, that's a future slide. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in depth in what the, some of the reports will look like as well, um, as as well as show you kind of what an APR, for example, will look like. I'll just pause for a minute to see if there's any specific area of the client record we'd like to look at. Um, where we see the visibility and still looking similar, or same functionality. Okay, we're to enter the case notes. So again, we got the case plans. Add a goal. Um, I'm not sure if this has the functionality of the notes that you're seeking um, right now, but it will look it, it'll just have the same um, color scheme. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next item and I'll just come back here. Okay, so we've got our client profile, we went through the assessment. So um, something else is that just the calendar arrows and icons will be looking a bit different. So previously uh, we had these old icons here. I see that there's a question about entry exit. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, calendar look and feel will look different. Arrows will have moved to the side as opposed to the Month being in the middle. And expand the entry exit. So let's go back to that entry exit and then we'll mess with the calendar. So entry exit right here. I'm going to collapse our menu bar just so we can see it fully. This is what our enrollment tab will look like right now. So if I create that, so again, we are I was talking about how the Calendar is going to look a little different.
back in the assessment. Again, this is what it's going to look like. The question thing are all the questions the same again um so this is just cosmetic nothing about how you are working in the system and the hmis will change um it's just how it looks will change just the different colors different fonts the icons are going to look a bit different but nothing about how it's functioning nothing about the workflow has changed yet but I'll show you uh, an interim assessment too. So what interims it will now look like this icon. Add an interim review. If you wanna see what that looks like. Very similar as the entry assessment it will look like this. Our HUD verification, our sub-assessments that we are previously familiar with interim reviews here. And well I'll just complete the exit assessment too. Drop downs all look the same. They're the same responses. Same functionalities. Assessment is the same. It will look the same. Just this one that we're looking at right now isn't specifically for our community. So it is more of a general, just kind of, just to get an idea of what to expect. Back. Um, next thing is shelter point. So again, um, the big change is that it's not going to be shelter points anymore. It'll just be shelters. And uh, we've go we're going to have a few updated icons. So previously, this is what shelter point looked like. And now it will look like this with um, our new module called shelters our notes icons are going to be slightly different um, the bed icons look the same let's take a look at that on the demo site And shelters over here, but I'm going to collapse it just so you can see. So, we look at a unit list and same functionalities. Uh, the dashboard even kind of looks about the same, should be these familiar icons. So, if we check a client in, this is what our shelter inventory will look like. Start an express check-in. It will look like this. Put our test client in here, so 6323. Again, this is the client for stay. Let's check in there. There we are. All right, I hope you want to exit them. And 
Any further questions about Shelter Point? Um, I think the next place we'll be going is reports. Okay, so Shelter Point. <clears throat> and then finally, we've got reports. Um, similar thing, uh, just a new look and feel. So I'll run a, an APR for us, just a quick APR, just to see what that looks like. And a reports dashboard has the same icons and modules in it that you should expect. Same report options, the same questions to run APR. So we already have one ready for us to view. So here is our APR. Collapse this that again just so we could see more of it. So project identifiers, this is what it would look like. Support validations, we still have the same functionality of being able to click. Accounts of clients. Same questions, those have not changed just yet. But they will for the data standards change, but right now they this is what our APR will look like next week. Any further questions about just the reporting aspect, the reports module? Any question that says for path services, is entering documentation the same? Yes. Um, again, the workflow stays the same. It's just going to be a different look. So for path services, you'd, you'd complete a service transaction as we've done before. So I can go back to that. To our client here. Um, service transactions. Yeah, that service and it looks it, it, it will have the same question it will just look a little bit different <clears throat> and then some final kind of notes about the sent uh this change is uh part of that rebranding is that change to url that we had already implemented that was already implemented last week so um in this article that that article is linked and we've got our new urls here there's a question about the referral section so we'll go back to that in a second um something to note is that internet explorer will no longer be supported starting next week. So WellSky does recommend the use of Chrome as a browser moving forward once the switch over has been made. 
we provide it well we have provided a link to how to download the chrome uh in this article and then finally if the ui is inaccessible to you due to the color scheme so um, a feedback that has been received by wellsky is that the color scheme makes it a little difficult for some people to see some of the sections for example like the sub-assessment um how it doesn't stand out anymore because the green uh tabs aren't there anymore for example For example, um, like these are sub assessments, like uh, if you notice they don't really pop out at you anymore. Um, I see that there's a question there. So the referral section and the upload icon. So referral section, referrals will look like this. If we add a referral, functionality it's going to look a little bit different so in this case I also just do want to show you that high contrast um, add-on so I have it enabled here so this is how it would normally look that add-on if you'd like it um, you can change kind of the color and it makes it more contrast because as I mentioned, some people kind of were having a hard time kind of differentiating between the different modules now. Um, so you can change the colors kind of how best fits your needs. So this would be an inverted color scheme. So maybe that works a little better for you. Yellow on black, just so you can like really see the different items on there if this looks okay to you then there's no steps for you to make um and for the the technical recommendations if you need further support on how to set that up for yourself you're more than welcome to reach out to the help desk and i'd be happy to kind of help you set that up for yourself um and then we have a can you show how the I upload icon will work so let's go back and do that the client information. Have some file transactions. There are file attachments. Upload. The attachment icon will look just like a paper clip. But the function is essentially the same. We went over the high contrast add-on. Uh, we talked about how Chrome will need to be your new browser. Um, and then that change in the URL. And part of that change of the URL would be if you have this bookmark, if you have some passwords or usernames that have been previously saved under the old URLs, those need to be updated um, so that you are able to still log on again nothing has changed it'll be the same username and password you just kind of need to remap your own username and password if that's a setting you use in your own browser some next steps that we'll have will be that to expect that on september 6th next week both the live and training site will be switching over to this ui uh, this new look and feel. Um, again, nothing else about the workflow has changed, just how it looks. As of right now, we don't really have a timeline for how to uh, when we're going to be updating the current documentations and training, um, except moving forward, it will have the new UI, especially for upcoming data standards training. So all of that will feature this new look. Um, 
as as things change and as we update things, we we will be letting you know when those change. But as of right now, all the old documentations with the old UI will remain on the help desk. If you have any other questions or if you need a more detailed dive in this new UI, please feel free to reach out to the help desk if you think that will be helpful for you and your users, or if you just like want a specific focus um, focus uh, one on one session for that. I see a request for the summary screen. Again, um, I'm going to assume you're talking about the summary of the record, uh, the client record. So here is what the client record will look like. And I'm going to collapse this just so we can see full view. Oh, I need to do this objects icon. It's weird now. We'll pause for some questions or specific requests from certain pages you'd like to see again. Um, I hope I have shown all the requests that have already been submitted, um, but if I miss a documentation area, um, so again, as I mentioned, this is a demo site that they use for all communities. So a lot of where things would normally be aren't going to be there. <laughs> um, oh, file attachments will look here, still in the client profile, and it will look and function about the same. The next one says, I miss what was said about the password. Yes, you will be able to use the same password and username. The thing I mentioned about it is if you save your username and password on your browser, you do need to update the URL so then your username and password is connecting to the right page. <clears throat> will there be changes for when ATAs? Then the workflow. Um, Will there be changes for when ATAs go into business objects to run reports? Uh, no, there will, there will not be changes. Um, the workflow will stay the same, just it will look different. Then this is our new business objects icon here, as opposed to what it looked like before. Um, will there be a printout version of these new changes? Um, these new changes will be outlined in the article. You're welcome to print it out if you need to. So this article, um, I'm going to send this out in the chat. Um, and on this same article, we will have the recording at the bottom. And sorry, Janet, I mean notes, sorry. Okay, so let's look at notes. <clears throat> and that will be under case plans. Cut goals.
other questions? Plus. the section where people get matched to specific organizations. Um, can you say more about that request? Are you talking about what the referrals look like? Uh, service notes, um, I guess it would live in, let me just open actual current one just so we can have a <clears throat> previously case notes and plans would be entered here um and then it will look like this Moving forward, does that help a little bit connect them? This is is as far as it goes <laughs> um it will look the same summary page here i see there's a question do notes still have to be entered under the hoh um whatever workflow you had before um please continue to follow that just expect that it will look different Comparison help a little bit better. So this is here. As far as CES, will the options be the same? Yep, all the options will be the same. It will just look different. Any further requests, comparisons I can show you guys. And expect these changes uh, next Wednesday. Um, feel free to reach out to us for more questions. If you'd like a further walkthrough of the demo site, um, fortunately we have pretty limited capabilities in it. Um, and obviously things will be in different places on the demo site, but I'd be happy to kind of walk you through the demo site if that would be helpful for you.
we'll just wait for another few more minutes to see if there's any additional questions we can answer. Um, again, as a reminder, I, this session is recorded and it'll be posted by the end of the day on that article that I have posted in the chat. How will we see the notifications on the new site? Notifications previously were over here. It's the exclamation point, the user alerts, system alerts and stuff. Um, it will just be a little bell now. <clears throat> Similar functionalities, you can still favorite some people. Got the help question there, just the icons will look a little bit different. Not all users can access the demo site as of right now. Um, if you think that'll be helpful for your agency, please submit a ticket and we can work something out for you guys um, specifically. There are no further questions. I will be wrapping up and stopping the recording in a minute. Just want to th thank everybody for participating and coming to this webinar to kind of walk through our the new UI change. Uh, that'll be helpful if we, get, if we get a copy of the demo site. Um, again, please send us a ticket um, so we can arrange that for you individually um, if we need to. Um, But as Mike has mentioned in that question, um, none of this data, it, this is kind of a demo site for everyone who uses WellSky. So it's just kind of just showing you what it will look like. We can't really enter real data in there. None of our data is in there. It's just kind of just to play around with what to be, what we're going to be expecting for our live site next week. Um, I'm going to pause again, seeing any further questions. Thank you all for coming to the webinar. Please field more questions if you have them uh, to our help desk. Again, the slides and the webinar will be posted in the article we have sent in the chat. It is, um, and I hope you guys have a good day. And let's see if Mike has any last minute ending comments for us. I'll turn it back over to him. Thank you all. Nothing for me. Thank you very much, Rochelle. Uh, thanks everyone for attending. Um, and uh, we will see you in subsequent uh, webinars on the data standards change coming up. Thanks again for attending. <laughs>